M0FXB, welcome to my channel. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to get your Echolink settings into your All-Star node. So you might have a G7RPG All-Star node. Why do we do this? Because you, you'll be able to use any analog radio and go on the Echolink system, which, as you know, has thousands and thousands of nodes. So we're going to need WinSCP to do this. So make sure you download that. We're going to be talking to our Asterix file. So let's uh, open that up like so looks like this you need to log into it so the normally the the, the login will be uh, root and the password will probably be could be raspberry but anyway let's log into it you need your IP address of your all-star node you should know that by now log in and what you're gonna do is and if you don't have your the IP address just when you turn your all-star node on and off it does say, say it out loud to you so go to the echo link file here um, and if you can't find it, uh, say you just when it first boots, you're just showing just a couple of files. Just click etc, then asterisk. Then here on uh, Echolink, you're going to have Echolink, but with just X's. Just right click and rename that like so, and then see and add the word conf. C O N F for Foxtrot. So Echolink.conf. Make sure you put the dot conf. Once you've got that. Then you double click that, and at the top here, just put in your call sign here. Um, so you'll have a longer string here. Just delete it back and put your call sign in after your flat line. So you are going to have to change your call sign on Echolink to M0FX, you know, to your call sign dash L, and I'll show you in a, a separate section how to do that. Then you want the password as well that you use for Echolink. That's fine, because if you log into Echolink, you will use the same password. So we've got a password here. And then scroll down. All you do then is, let's have a look now, get in your, here where it says All Star Node, you need to put in, after the word your, it says, see it says AST Node there, A-S-T Node. You need to just, after equals your, you need to put your All Star Node number that you use every day um, on, say, G7 RPG, a PubNet, things like that. That's fine. And as you're doing this, you're saving up here. You're clicking save. Just one last thing. Go down a bit further. Uh, let's get it right. And you need to get in. Here it is. See where it says node here? Just says node on its own equals. You'll have some script after. See that you've got echo link there. Then what you need to do there is add in your the node number of your echo link account. So on here, it's 693. 775. Once you've done that, click save and then you can uh, reboot your node, turn it on and off. That's the best way to do it. And then click out of that. Then go back to your Echo Link. And what you want to do, what I would do is log into your Echo Link like in the normal way. Go to Tools, go to Setup, and here where it says Change Call Sign, click Change Call Sign. Click Yes. And you want to add an L. So M0 FXB dash L. But you do have to actually validate that call sign first. So what you do is go to validation here. And you've got uh, sections here where you can change your call sign. So what you would do is click change a call sign. And then you've got the old and the new. And you can add the L. Uh, and then you can have, but I've got both M0 FXB and, and M0 FXB dash L. So once you've got that, then everything will start talking to each other. So let's move on. So once you're on your all-star node normal frequency, but not logged into anything, to disconnect everything, all you do this time is you go, you hold the PTT down, and you go star three three, and then you type in the the echo link node number. So you can look these up on this address. I'll put it in the description. So hub next is nine seven three. Four nine eight. So all we do is go star three three nine seven three four nine eight, and when you connect, it will give you. It will shout. It will say to you, connected to All Star. I'll just see if we can do that now. Yes. So this is us just rebooting it and getting the IP address. Right. We're going to type the number in now. Right, so let's try and push it. It's a bit fiddly up here, but I'm going to key the mic. We're going to go star three three nine seven three four nine eight, which is the node number. Let go. 
Now, sometimes you get an ident come back. Just now, it just connected. No. Oh, it's failed. That could be because someone's talking, but when it doesn't fail, I'll, I'll be into HubNet, and, and you'll see earlier on that that was working fine. So, hope this helps. Move on to the next part. M0FXB, hearing you, also with M6LSJ. So, um, are you getting me? Because I'm actually on Echolink, but I'm talking into my Anytone 878, which is using my All-Star node to come into HubNet. And the number I typed in on the DTLF pad is star three three nine seven three four nine eight. Over to you, from M zero FXB. I think that was Mark. Are you getting me, Mark? I thought you called in there, Mark, from M0FXP. So were you, we're on Echolink, but we're on DMR radio. Let's try um, M6LSJ. M6LSJ, you received me, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo. So we're just using our node box here. M6LSJ, yeah, thanks for coming back to me. Yeah, just uh, using my uh, homemade node box here uh, with the Echolink and the, uh, it's the Echolink comp files that have been changed. I'll include a, a short video on how I did that. Uh, back to you, how's my audio? M6, M0, M6LSJ, M0FXB. Yeah, thanks very much, Lino. I'll stand by. Then I'll quickly just do a two-minute video of how you change these settings in Asterix using WinSCP, and then anyone can do this to their all-star node. 7-3, all the best. Catch you later.